Hello, good afternoon. This is your friendly neighborhood doctor, Jimmy128, and I will be casting a game between uh, me and my opponent, Scabe, or Scabe. He is a number 17 ranked uh, Protoss in his gold division, and he is uh, 107, uh, 1727 rated. Let's see what happens. Hello, this is your friendly neighborhood doctor Jimmy128 and I'm bringing to you a 1 versus 1 between the red Protoss Cave and the blue Protoss uh, Dr. Jimmy and that's my cousin there. <laughs> Say hi. And the map is going to be Zelnaga Caverns. Uh, and, uh, yeah, like, as I mentioned before, I've been having not some nice games here on this map um, a little about okay you have the two watchtowers here in the middle and then your big of course uh, all the way across you have your natural expansion here and a third expansion and you can just uh, gain easier access to it by destroying these destructible rocks right looks like I'm doing some early scouting here uh, trying to make sure that I know exactly what my opponent is doing Looks like both of us are doing very uh, similar builds. Going for the watchtowers and scouting. So yeah, it's been a while since I last casted again. We've been playing quite a lot of uh, one versus ones. Uh, I've yeah, basically been 50% recently, which is fine. Which is fine. I'm happy with it. I just get a little frustrated when I lose, but hey, I've, I I gotta get used to it, right? And well, it looks like I'm going for my gateway at 12. Looks like he's just getting his gateway. He's a little delayed. I'm going to the APM tab. Uh, not very much going on there. Chrono boosting out probes. Uh, looks like the, uh, we got two probes having a party. Woohoo! Date, date, date. Yeah, baby. Alright. So yeah, um, I will be busy a little bit uh, in the coming week because I have a lot of um, fun field adventures planned. Be going out with some friends. Uh, gonna buy a KFC bucket meal. Yum yum yum! And they have this nice little, uh, nice little bucket meal promotion going on, which I'm gonna get. All right, so I'm getting my cyber core. A little, uh, his is a little bit delayed, but that's fine. Nothing to worry about there. Continue to put chrono boost out probes. Looks like we are just the same in the harvester count, but he's slightly ahead. Uh, but not for long. Once I get this dude, is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? He gonna die? Is he gonna die? He's gonna die? He's gonna die? He's gonna die? He's gonna die? And uh, he survives. Oh, wait, he's gonna die. Okay, now he's gonna die. Now he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Oh, I'm sending a probe to intercept. No. <sighs> Like, oh, that was my pro. Dang it. So, anyways, looks like the cyber cores are out, and I am chrono boosting out my warp gate. My favorite warp gate. So, say I'm trying to um, micro this pro to survive. Is he gonna live? You must live. You must live. You must live. You must. And he's gonna die. Boom. Oh. Anyway. So it looks like he is ahead in the probe count by two probes. His income is slightly. Oh no. Yeah, his, my income is still on the slightly higher. I wonder why. Does he have a few idle probes? No idle probes. So he's getting a gateway, getting more pylons. I'm getting two gate. Now that his uh, probe has been dealt with, going for the third gateway, looking to do a four gate rush here as usual. Getting out my gas. And warp gate is a little, little two thirds of the way done. I just got out my stopper. Looks like he is getting a robotic facility. Looks like he's going for the two gate robo build, which is pretty much a good counter to uh, the four gate rush because of the immortals. The immortals do a ton of damage to armored units. They do 50 damage against stalkers. So, ouch. Plus, they're uh, like one of the strongest units to kill the hardest units to kill i'm sorry the hardest units to kill in the game looks like his work gate is just about research my work gate is done here are my four work gates and looks like i'm gearing up for the push looks like he's sending out a scouting probe uh 
like right now he doesn't know I am getting the four warp gates. He only sees that one, but will he be able to see? He's going up the ramp. My suckers are stuck. My suckers are stuck. But they're not. A little bit of a uh, miss micro there. And he sees the four warp gates. Now I realize what is that pro doing here? So now it looks like he is scrambling to get another. He's getting another gateway now to try to match the production of the units. He is going to chrono boost out his immortal because of the impending push that is about to impend <laughs> on his base. And okay, this looks like this is going to be the push. I'm just uh, got rallying my units to uh, where I would like to put the pylon. You should come here. Come here, come here, come here. There you go. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for the pylon. Get one more wave of units and uh, start to begin the push. Looks like he is getting a good number of sentries. What is he doing with these three pros? What is he doing with them? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, looks like he's going to use this probe to uh, kind of spot where my army is. He's getting out his second immortal. So uh, these sentries are really good because what you can do if to stop any push is you can basically put a force field on the ramp to prevent any units from getting up and your units from the high ground can shoot the units there see so my units can't get up and he can actually move his units down here to snipe any uni uh, any of my units that are here so this is a pretty tense moment for him but he should be safe as long as he force as well and there you go so he trapped one of my zealots but every single unit this early in the game really counts so it looks like he's just going to lock his uh, his base. I decided hmm, maybe I should go back. Nah, because I figure I have the m I have map control. He's basically not leaving his base because of um, my army that's outside. So I decided to see if I could squeeze in an expansion while pushing. And this is something that I've been really working on because um, every single wave of units consumes just about the all of your resources. So I'm skipping one wave to get the nexus to gain a little bit of economic advantage. And yeah, so this is a very very tense moment, a very very tense moment for uh, so for uh, Scave. And it's like I trapped one of his zealots out there. So one thing that I can do is I can wait till he pushes out. Just keep my eye on the mini map. Uh, if I see any red dots, I'll immediately go uh, rush to my army. And then if his army is here, I can split them in half and basically kill what's the army that's outside and he's getting a an observer to spot where my army is this is uh, pretty smart but i guess i know he just wants to know where my army is so he'll know when to move out or whatever so yeah i knew the observer was there because um i could spot the ripples in reality uh, let me see okay see that there there's tiny ripples tiny ripples as you can see that i noticed see there I was able to notice that, so I knew he knew where my army was. So I was just uh, hanging back, chilling, getting my expansion, making probes. I should be making probes. And he has a lot of probes here. He, he really needs to get that expansion. So I decide to move back. Ah, I'll just macro. But no, 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 no. I decide to go back. Kind of like a, I don't know. This is an unintentional feint. So he knew my army was coming back. He knew the size. So he's trying to. Get back up the ramp. I have to force field. I have to force field. Force field. Force field. Force field. Force field. Force field. And I only trapped on stopper. And I get the probe. So it looks like we're back to square one. But this time, what we're gonna see? Yeah, he's still on two gate and one robo. And so on four gate, I got the forge. I might uh, be getting an upgrade soon. Going to the produ production tab. He has one immortal on the way. Units tab. Uh. He has 5 zealots, 4 immortals, 5 stalkers, 8 sentries, so he has in more than enough to keep my army out of his base. So what he should do, uh, basically we're just make, waiting for the other to make a mistake here. Three pretty pretty tense moment, even for me, but I knew I had the advantage because I had an, an, ex an expo up. So here he goes, he's trying to move up, I see this, and boom, I cut his army in half, and uh, take what, and basically finish off whatever army is outside of his base. Yes, only a few units of his can attack, so I'm taking out a very, very powerful immortal. So this is where he makes a mistake. He continues to try to press outward. 
so this, this gives more opportunities for him to get his army in half and slowly 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 dwindle that make his army dwindle away so here I decide to move back and then I go back and force build again taking out all the stalkers and the sentries that are there and he still has three mortals so he's pretty he's still he is still in a good position all he has to do is reinforce with zealots so I decide okay what the heck let's go I think I can take this on so I decide to focus fire the immortals and they do so much damage look at that my god but I clean that up so this looks this looks pretty much like GG I have I brought in the proxy column much much closer and there escape calls GG so this has been something I've uh, been working on is uh, making use of the force fields and um, yeah I guess practice has been paying off and I've been making pretty much good use of it so this has been Dr. Jimmy128 signing off drink lots of water